Good morning. We are the movie roommates. I'm Steve Harris, and this is Matthew my dear Benjamin. roommate Matthew Benjamin in the house. How are you? And we are really pumped because today we are seeing Hall Pass. Yes. And to give you guys a little bit of an intro for those of you who don't know us already, we're just regular two average, fan base. average movie viewers. We're not experts. We don't know uh, as much as you know your critics out there. You know Roger Ebert and uh, Gene. Whatever his name is. That's how average we are. <laughs> That's how average we are. <laughs> we go in, we give you our opinions, and uh, we're really looking forward to this one. Yeah, we just take you along for the ride. Yeah. So I am extremely excited. I mean, I've been counting the days for this one. Um, I see Wedding Crashers potential all over. What do you think, Matt? Yeah, actually, you know, I looked up uh, the director. It's the Farley Brothers who did There's Something About Mary, who happens to be... Also Dumb and Dumber. And Dumb and Dumber. Happens to be my favorite comedy of all time. Not Dumb and Dumber, but Something About Mary. So ben I, yeah, I originally was a little skeptical when I saw the preview, but then my friend Jared, who some of you may have met on some of our past videos, showed me the R-rated um, preview on YouTube. And Much it was better. Hysterical. Yeah, I mean, hysterical. we uh, one of the thing I'm thinking is huge quotability for uh, for lines. I mean, there's going to be all these pickup lines that are really funny. Um, actually, my uh, my friend Leon from Curb is going to be in this one, and I, uh, I happen to know Leon pretty well. We were at um, we were at uh, San Francisco Airport as I was coming home, and I actually ran, walked right past him, and we were both on the uh, little escalator uh, line. I've never heard this. Is this, is this oh, true? this is uh, you know, right off the top. Wow. And uh, we passed each other in slow motion. I just gave him the old, what's up? And he nodded right back. So uh, practically so boys. Now they're best friends. Um, <laughs> anyway, we're going to see this movie with our friend Fink, one of the, the close friends of the movie roommates, and. Um, you know, I think Scott. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask Scott. I'm gonna go in there and listen, Scott. What do you think the movie's gonna be like today? He's gonna say, um, I think, it, I think it's gonna be good. You know, I, I yeah, it's a pretty seems funny. It should be, should be, it should be okay. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, I'll we'll say. see what happens when he comes back, and we'll be checking. As always, the home of uh, <laughs> roommates, not Thanks the bus, for that bus. Uh, <laughs> but Lowe's, uh, Cinebet, Cineplex. Um, this is where the movie roommates live. This is where the, this is where the magic happens. Yeah. Kips Bay, bitches. And there he is, Scott Fink, joining the movie roommates for Hall Pass. You, you pumped? Hey, Scott, What's up, Steve? Scott, what do you think uh, the movie's gonna be uh, like? What's your opinion? Pre going in, beforehand. Pre going in, I think it's gonna be. Uh, I think it's gonna be pretty good. It's gonna be it's gonna be a funny comedy, but right. it's not gonna be a classic. It's know? not gonna blow you away. You don't see wedding away. crashes all this. Not on the same level as wedding crashes. No. All right, well we'll uh, see. We're gonna be tuning in. All right, Matt. Scott, Steve, let's go do it. How are we thinking, boys? I think Fink got it right at the beginning with this prediction. Solid movie, but not up there with the classics, such as old school, such as old school Wedding Crashers, Hangover. Yeah, Very solid. I'll forget we'll talk about more it. after. All right. So we just walked out of there, and uh, what'd you guys think? I'm with a. Uh, Fink and Matt again. Uh, initial impressions? Uh, go ahead, Scott. I thought it was a good movie. I thought it was a entertaining. Yeah. Some good laughs. I thought it was a solid movie, but you know, not up there with the classics, but it's solid. Yeah. You guys keep moving around. <laughs> I'm gonna agree with Scott. Uh, yeah. There were some funny moments, a handful of them. A year from now, am I gonna think about good comedies and think of this movie? No, I'll probably forget about it. Um, but it was good. I enjoyed it. Good, good, you know, time spent. Good way to break up the day, right? Switch it up a little bit. What do you think, Steve? Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I like Owen Wilson. I think he's a funny guy, so I uh, definitely enjoyed watching him. Um, I don't know if it was as good as Wedding Crasher. He played like a, a little bit more of like a serious kind of character, so wasn't the same. But um, definitely some uh, some funny scenes. A little graphic at times, but uh, <laughs> Steve doesn't like the male penises. Not big for the penis scenes. He I mean. shies away. True the blood, the gay scenes, he hates it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean nothing against them, but uh, just not my cup of tea. Um, but yeah, it was good. You know, I was definitely glad I made the move. Um, like like they said, not. Not necessarily a classic, you know, definitely a good TV movie, and if you want to go out to the theater, then, uh, you know, I would suggest it. So, uh, we'll do that, and then we'll be, uh, I'll take it from there. All right, later.